Hello YouTube, Red Hills Rancher here. Been building a sprayer for the last uh, week or two in the shop and I wanted to give you a quick tour. So let's take a look real fast. Here's the machine, the sprayer. We'll do a quick walk around. This is Kubota RTVX 1100. It's a 25 horsepower diesel engine um, vehicle. Has a two speed hydrostatic transmission, it's very effective. Get around, get a lot of places that you can't get with a pickup. You wouldn't want to go with the four wheeler and it's got heat, air conditioning, and radio. I put 26 inch tires on it. They're quite a bit taller and tougher than stock. I've got about 10 inches of ground clearance so I can go over anything. Up front I've got a little tow rope uh, wrapped around and held in place in case I need to get pulled out, which probably will happen. So let's come back here to the sprayer. The tank and the skid are a 40 gallon sprayer I got from the farm store. The one spray nozzle you see came with the sprayer and it's uh, currently installed as a backup. Normally these come with about a four gallon a minute pump. It's not very much pressure. That's not enough. I installed a seven gallon a minute pump that I have turned up to almost 80 PSI. This cage is for my Phantom drone in a Pelican case. So I can put the drone in here. I put the drone case in here and I can carry it with me when I'm out on the fire. It takes maybe a minute or two to deploy and I can get aerial views. The shutoff valve, teed off the pressure supply on the pump, so if there's a problem with this gun, it can be shut off. A few spare parts, a few spare tools. Soap acts as a surfactant, helps the water wetter, and helps the water penetrate and keep things wet. Helps, for, helps a lot for suppression. Just a little bit of soap goes a long ways. Come over here to the other side. We have our Panama drip torch. Primary means of lighting fire. Holds, uh, I don't know, gallon, gallon and a half. I never really bothered to check. Up here, these three jugs, they're two and a half gallon jugs. They're recycled oil jugs. I currently have them filled with drip torch fuel. And here we have another three one gallon jugs that are also filled with drip torch fuel. This is going to be the main spray, spray nozzle. Yeah, I know, it's old, looks rusty. We reuse things. It's attached to a hundred feet of hose wrapped up on this hose reel so I can get down in canyons, do whatever I need to do. Reason for having two hoses is so I have one hose that I can work with and there's still another hose for protection of the vehicle if, if I have a second crew member. Uh, this is a really great rig. It's a modification of an old sprayer I used to have in an older utility vehicle. Everything is custom fabricated. Got probably two weeks of work in this. And I hope it works pretty good, and we'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to take a bunch of video, and we'll see. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. I'm also on YouTube. This is on YouTube. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram as Red Hills Rancher. Thank you. Have a nice day.